As a well-known figure in UK media and politics, young Scott were delighted to have the opportunity to chat to Sir Trevor Phillips, the head of the Equality and Human Rights Commission. It's his role to promote equality across the full range of discrimination areas, including age, belief, ethnicity, sexual orientation and disability. In this, our second video interview with Sir Trevor Phillips, we hear his opinions on how young people are affected by the recession. Well, I'd say that there are two big barriers for young people. One is, if you like, about now, and one is a more general one. The thing that's about now is very simple. We've been do it's, it's the economy. We've been doing a, a quarterly assessment of the way that the recession has hit different groups of people. Now, without question, the first big group were actually men got thrown out of jobs principally. I mean, the jobs that women tend to be in were less effective. But what we also sh discovered was that young people were most likely to be pushed out of jobs and, more importantly, were less likely to be able to get into jobs. So the recession has really hit young people. And that's true right across the board, from people who haven't got many qualifications to people who are not in education and training to graduates. So I would say the big first big challenge is, can the next generation actually get to work? The second thing, which I think is probably um, more broadly true about the position of young people, is that I think what is clear is that the education system isn't quite fitting people for what jobs they are. And where those jobs exist, how can I put this politely? What is left of careers guidance and information isn't exactly pointing young people in the best direction on helping them to find their way to the best jobs. So um, I would say that there's an immediate now problem, which is the effect of recession, but there's a bigger problem, which is that we haven't yet made the adjustment in the way that the economy's changed over the last 20, 25 years to in su such a way that people who are now coming into the jobs market get a fair crack of the whip. It's, it's always tempting to say, uh, actually, young people aren't aware of these things and we need to educate them. Actually, um, you know, I'm obviously not a young person, but I spend a lot of time, for example, with young people who are in my family. We're a big family, so we've got a lot of people uh, in their 20s and in their teens. And I think, actually, they are pretty, young people are pretty smart. I mean, they're pretty switched on. I, I think it would be patronising to say they haven't quite noticed what's going on. I think what is perhaps more significant is that young people do know what's going on, but they're not quite sure how they can get their voices heard. Um, and if they say, look, guys, to those in power, you've got to do something, whether anybody will pay any attention. And frankly, I think they've got some reason for worrying about that, since um, it's not entirely clear that whether it's the leadership of business or leadership of government or the churches paying much attention to the public at large anyway. Thanks to Trevor Phillips and the Equality and Human Rights Commission for giving Young Scott this great opportunity. If you would like to find out more about your rights and the EHRC, visit youngscott.org or equalityhumanrights.com.